colonists from France and England, adventurers, freed slaves, and descendants of Arab traders together make up the unique and harmonious mix of races and religion that are the people of Seychelles. The annual Creole Festival is a popular celebration of that special culture, and it's one of Seychelles' most colorful occasions. The people of Seychelles are warm, happy, friendly, and welcoming, ready to share their Creole traditions with visitors at any time of the year. There's no better place to start than in Victoria's bright and colorful early morning market. Victoria is one of the world's smallest capital cities and is Seychelles' only town. It's a country where every religious denomination coexists comfortably with its neighbor. Creole architecture can be found throughout the islands. Traditional houses with steeply sloping roofs and shutters thrown wide open to capture the cooling tropical breezes. Creole cuisine is a piquant mix of the flavors of the Orient and the subtleties of French cooking, based around a diet of the fruits of the ocean and of the garden. The basic ingredients are freshly picked or caught from the sea that very same day. Evolving as a spoken rather than written language, and with its roots in French, Creole has become a language of poetry and song. And the art of the islands has a charm and style all of its own. Local artistic talents, and internationally famed sculptors and painters combining to produce works that bear the distinctive style of Seychelles. But the ancient traditions of a people whose existence has been inextricably linked to the mountains and the ocean are never far beneath the surface. Traditional crafts and skills are still a way of life. The healing powers of the plants of the islands are not forgotten. We have uh, the other species like uh, yellow alder tree, which in Creole they call it coquette, and uh, nettle leaf vervain, they, they are medicinal trees too. And uh, they, they more or less do the same thing, they toxify the body. And uh, to make an infusion you have seven leaves. And in a cup, you know, add boiling water, let it simmer down, cool down, then you drink it and you feel good. <laughs> the old ways are kept alive, and nowhere more so than in the Mucha, a dance whose rhythms are as old as life on the islands, whose chants evoke the deepest echoes of a time gone by. Since independence from Britain, Seychelles has enjoyed over 25 years of peace and stability, during which time traditional Creole values have been instilled into the next generation. The deep love of the islands and the surrounding ocean has been passed from the old to the young, and the art of the children reflects the need for conservation and respect for the environment. And it's that younger generation who are taking the Creole culture into the 21st century while still retaining the traditions of the past.